up? Welcome to my apartment. If I had known that you were coming, I would have bought some furniture so you could sit somewhere. Oh, you wanted to see it empty. Well, perfect timing. Come on in, I'll give you an empty apartment tour. Acting one, number one. Hello. So, my name is Jennifer. If you guys have been following along this journey, you would know that I've been basically renovating this condo for the past year. I bought this like old 90s apartment and I wanted to take on the project of renovating it from scratch. So I hired some contractors. They did a bunch of stuff. I also did a bunch of stuff with my dad and we finally completed the project and it's ready to move into. So before we move in, before I move in, cause it's my place, I wanted to do an empty condo tour for you guys to see like what has changed and the upgrades that have happened. To disclaim, a lot of things didn't happen according to plan. As you guys know, my unit is flooding. My condo got flooded again, around $4,000. It's so broken, it's crazy. I think there's a fire in the building. Um, So it's not exactly like my, what I envisioned in my head, but it is very, very nice and I'm really excited. So let's get into it, okay. First of all, we have our um, entryway closet. Right now I just have a bunch of like stuff that we don't want to really look at. I have to return this. These are like things that are part of the renovation that I still need to get rid of. So we shall ignore. I'm gonna hang like jackets and stuff. Maybe put like a little shoe rack here cause there's not really much room to put shoes in this whole entryway. Also this thing is something I have to fix. Cause this like literally comes out sometimes. It's not really supposed to do that. And then to my left, we have the bathroom. Welcome to the bathroom. This is the guest slash outside bathroom. And this is probably one of my favorite rooms in the condo because it's so custom and like definitely is a statement. Obviously we have this face wall behind me that I made in one of my condo videos for this room. I used a Cricut machine. I think it turned out so well. And you'll see that this pattern is sampled, if you will, in another room. Look at this. Oh, it's a like touch screen mirror and you can like dim it. Go. Oh, literally, what the fuck? And then we have this lovely sink vanity. I'm obsessed with this tap. I've talked about it so many times, but the way that it opens and closes is so buttery smooth. And then I added these tail hooks and they have the exact same style as the taps. We just got a toilet and then towel bar and toilet paper holder. Oh, let's talk about the tile. So it used to be, I don't even remember what it used to be actually, but now it's this like gray marble tile. Honestly, I was really thinking about doing white marble and that would have made this place look so white and sterile. So I'm glad I went with gray. Now moving on to this area, this is the shower. I feel like there might be mixed opinions on this, but I really love how it turned out. There used to be a shower door here, like a glass shower door, which I feel like in theory would look and feel like more high end and luxurious but it was like way too clunky so i removed that and replaced it with this diy curtain that i made out of potato sacks essentially and there's just like so much more room to also replace the plumbing fixture so now it looks a lot more modern luckily there was no flood in here but don't you worry that happens in a little bit okay so now let's move on to the kitchen which is over here the lighting changes, I'm obsessed. I just think it'll be so cute and like ambient vibes at night when I need to just like get a drink of water like from the sink. So domestic and cute. Apparently drinking water is so domestic now. It's probably because I don't drink water. So I think anything I don't do is like so like girly, like wifed up domestic vibes. We have these cabinets, which are very different from before, but these are so modern with the traditional framing still. I didn't want it to be like completely flat. Because I wanted it to have some sort of character still. These black things, I'm not sure if I want to keep these. I like them for right now because I feel like it ties in all of the black appliances, but I feel like gold might be a little bit more of like a main character moment. So that's exactly what I ended up doing. I changed all of the hardware fixtures to gold and this is what it now looks like. So we also have the sink, which <gasps> detaches. I've always wanted one of these. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, there we go. 
Like, look at that. Got a spray head. Anyway, I feel like that's so like a rich girl moment, even though I don't think these are expensive at all. I've just never had one of these before. And I also have a single tub sink, which I really like actually, because I feel like it looks more simplistic but it's like also huge here i have my microwave this is the true like domestic wiped up era area of the kitchen this is the stove do i know how to use one i actually do so i'm gonna be like so cute and like making my avocado toast on here which you don't make on the stove actually but i want to learn a bunch of recipes because i do actually want to get better at cooking to save money and i just think it is a good life skill to have sometimes i'll be sticking my head in here to just warm up to get a little hot-headed, you know what I mean? Great. Okay. Now I have my fridge. What do I have in here? I think I'm gonna have alcohol in here. Okay, I have like a bunch of Red Bulls. This is like a fraction of it, but Red Bulls sent me the biggest box of so many Red Bull drinks. I'll probably show it to you guys in my move-in video, but it's been the best move-in gift, and I'm gonna have Red Bulls forever. I also have some wine. Is this wine? some champagne wait this is such a good like housewarming vibe drink i'm gonna have a housewarming party i just don't know when because i don't have furniture yet so when i do have furniture i am going to throw the bestest housewarming of all time oh i also wanted to mention that i'm wearing the same outfit as when i first gave my empty condo tour of like the before version so i just wanted to wear the same outfit for nostalgia's sake the way that i have like literal amnesia or something because girl Where's the similarity? Corporate is asking you to find the difference between these photos and it's a little bit too easy. We also have a new dishwasher. Oh, why is it wet inside? Oh, that's what she said. Wait, why is it wet? It smells not good. So I'm not sure if you're supposed to like keep it open to let it clear out. Oh, another thing is this countertop. I initially did have some qualms with it because it wasn't really what I asked for. I wanted like thick veining marble, but I've grown to actually like it a lot. And then I have the original laundry machines. I'm not sure if these are gonna be like big enough for the amount of stuff that I have, but I'm gonna just use it and see what happens because I feel like I can easily Boy. Easily change these out if I need to. I bought like a 200 pack of like solo cups and then I have like paper plates up there. But I'm gonna be using like actual plates, like I'm an actual girl. So I'm not gonna be like ruining the environment during my everyday slay. Anyway, let's move on to my favorite space, the living room. It is currently sunset time. So it's getting darker, but it's like a really cloudy day. I've tried to film this on a sunny day for you guys, but it's Vancouver. So good weather is very few and far between in the winter months. Imagine there's like solid sun lines. That's what I'm gonna see every day in the summertime. I'm so excited. I have these gigantic windows, which was a big selling point. I'm gonna put a giant couch right here, and I'm gonna put my TV right here. I have like such fun plans for everything. Like the TV, I'm gonna make it like not a regular TV, it's gonna be a cool TV. We used to have these like beige yellowy walls, it was just not, not cute. But now we have these wall moldings and I love the texture that it gives the wall. I feel like it just adds a little pizzazz. Like it's not super in your face, but just adds a little bit of dimension that I feel like the place really needs. My dad and I did this. We did it on this wall, this wall, and then also on this wall. But I kind of feel like I want to continue it into other rooms, like maybe into the bedrooms because I just think it looks so good. Oh, I have to show you this light. Ta -da! This light has given me so many headaches, but I love it so much and I think it looks so good. I thought I had to get rid of it at one point because it was like flickering so much, but turns out it's because of something else. The something else is in here. This room is the second bedroom. Yeah! So I'm not gonna re-explain for everyone who already knows, but this light and this light, they were mortal enemies. So to make them bond a little, and now they're fine. I added this like Bluetooth controller here because this used to just be controlled by the light switch that's not inside of this room. So it was really annoying because like when you have to like turn on and off the light in here, like the second bedroom, you would have to go outside. Because technically I'm still unsure if this is like a solarium or like a real bedroom because they sold this to me as a real bedroom, but I'm not really sure. But. I'm gonna treat it as a real bedroom. Anyway, the lighting in here is so gorgeous. Look at how pretty this is. Like, look at the lighting, the sunset. Imagine like the sunset selfies. I'm so excited. 
Anyway, I'm just gonna be like staring out the window like all the time. This is so nice. Anyway, let's move on. I also want to mention the new flooring. You can't really tell the color right now, but in the daylight, it's like my perfect shade of flooring. As you guys know, this is actually the second version because we had a flooding the first time, or the second flooding. Oh my God, I can't believe we have two flooding. But yeah, this is the new flooring and I think it looks so good. I think it used to be carpet in here before, which was not the vibe. And then we have this dining area over here that I haven't really figured out how to deal with yet because the light fixture is over here, but then like the center of the room is like here. I think I wanna put like pedestals right here. Is that a weird idea? I feel like it would look cool. Onto the storage closet, which is so full right now. This is all stuff that I hauled ass from LA. I think that video is going up after this video. It's so chaotic. It's the journey of me bringing all my stuff from my LA apartment to here. If you guys even remember my LA era. So I'm gonna be opening this all up in my move-in video. I don't really know what's inside. So we're just gonna like, I don't know. Okay, onto the primary bedroom, which is gonna be my bedroom. Welcome to my bedroom. Come on in. I hid the TV in here because I had nowhere else to put it for now. It's like huge. But behind it, we have my closet that's a mirror. Pretty standard stuff. I didn't change this at all because I like the mirror closet. It's kind of like clunky though, to be honest. It's not smooth at all. But I think I can hit it with some like oil and it should be a little easier to maneuver. I also want to change the position of this rack because right now I can only hang one row of clothes, but I want to hang two. Maybe I'll move it up there and then add another railing here. But here is my bed. No shoes on the bed, but I actually haven't washed this and a lot of you guys were clowning me for not washing the bed sheets before sleeping in it. I've only taken naps in here and I think my body knows the difference between a nap and a full eight hour sleep. So I am just believing that my body has not like taken in any of the bacteria. So this is my bed. I think it looks so cute. And then this is a lamp from LA. You guys saw that in the storage closet, I have like all my shit there. I just like took this out from the hall. This is also my desk from LA. It's still shrink wrapped. So I have to take that off, but I'm not really sure if I want to keep this desk or not. I was like, I don't need a desk. Like, I don't need to sit, but honestly, I just sit on my ass all day and just go on my phone and my computer, so maybe I do need a desk. And then the city skyline behind me. It's so pretty. It's so nice. On the days that it's a pink sunset is the best. You should follow me on Instagram because I'm probably gonna be posting a lot of aesthetic apartment content. Right now is not the best lighting, I will admit, but I just wanted to film it now because I'm gonna be moving in like literally tomorrow. Moving on to the back. Bathroom. Oh, let me close this. Let me show you a little something, a little show and tell. This is my prized possession. It's my spiderweb mirror. I still don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with it yet because this came broken. Yeah, it's a little broken inside. I wish it could send it to therapy, but don't think it's that easy. A lot of you guys left some suggestions on what I should do with it in my bathroom makeover episode, so I'm gonna be tackling this in a future episode. So I guess the renovation is not done. It never ends. Here is the little sink area I'm obsessed with. This is when you know you're getting older, is when you are obsessed with the way that a tap opens and closes because like it just feels so smooth. This is my vanity. It is nice and cool. It has a bunch of compartments which I love. So it has a lot of storage. I also like that this color matches the shower curtain base color. My dad and I painted these faces on a little tray of decor here. I plan on like, swapping these out though because I feel like it, it's a little bit boring looking. I want to add a diffuser for some fragrance. Look how much storage there is in here. I can't wait to fill this all up and then complain that I don't have enough storage. We got this like marble tile in the bathroom now and you guys know I love my white marble. So I literally put it everywhere in this bathroom and I think I've had enough. I think I've had, not, wait, not like, I've had enough. As in like, I think I need to be cut off. So because I plastered this everywhere in this room, I think I need to cut myself off from getting any more white marble things in this entire place. That is not a promise though. I cannot promise anything. We've truly come such a long way in this 
this bathroom and I think that's why I feel so triumphant about how it turned out because as you remember this is where the first big flooding happened this whole area was just like flooded with water in the end we did find out that it was actually the contractor's fault like it wasn't just like some pipe that burst like after doing some investigating it literally was their fault so they cost me thousands and thousands of dollars. They paid for the repairs and whatnot, but like it was like months of delays, which I could have been living in this place already, but I kind of just want to forget about it. You know what? It's fine. Things are in the past. I can't complain at the end of the day. I have this like beautiful home that is now completed and ready for me to sleep in and slay in. Anyway, that is the entire apartment tour. I can't believe that it's finally finished. I honestly am kind of still waiting for the other shoe to drop. I feel like something is gonna happen, but I'm not gonna manifest that for myself. Anyway, make sure to like this video so that the algorithm does its thing and subscribe so that you'll stay tuned for the future episodes, aka me moving in, me decorating, getting furniture, makeover videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to go stream How to Love, my new song, or watch the entire renovation series from the start.